I just want to give you a quick one minute video about your D1, D1 Plus machine, how to unbox it, how to first assemble it. So it'll come in a box and surprise, surprise, we've given you a suitcase. So it's Christmas again for everybody. Um, the suitcase is reusable. These middle layers here hold everything together and then there's a form layer below, okay? So when you open it up, you can open either side. Here's your espresso machine. This box contains lots of things like the power cord and some other important accessories. We're gonna to get to that. And here's the Steam One, water tank, drip tray, tablet, group head, a handle, and porta filter. So what we'll do is take the machine out. Now typically what I do is I put one finger back here and one finger on the leg, like so. Take it out. And then spray it up like this. Okay. Next, um, you'll probably want to put the water tank in. This little thing here is a lever for pulling it out. So that's the front and there's no lever on the back. So you put it here where the legs are. And as you slide it back, you'll see there's a lever back here. You're going to lift the lever up and then with the other hand, push the water tank in till it goes clunk and then let the lever drop down. This is the drip tray and drip tray cover. It just has a simple square pattern in there, which fits in there and keeps it from moving. So that's how that works there, okay? Um, you've got a porta filter and a tablet. Now, the deal with the tablet is we ship it without a stand because people have different ideas as the angle here based on the height and the height of the countertop. And we're gonna talk about that in a second. And finally, there's a group head handle, which is going to go here, but there's a washer for it in the box. So let's go ahead and open this. So this is a power cable, and if you can, you should use ours because you'll see it's really thick. Uh, we bought an extra high quality power cable because if you use a normal computer one, it will work, but the cable will heat up and the machine will not heat up as fast because it's making heat on the cable. So do use this. It's gonna plug in the back, and then this just plugs into a normal outlet. Nothing special. Next, you've got a porta filter basket. It's currently clean, it's clean with alcohol. You're gonna open that up. Now that goes into here. You'll see that there's springs here. So you're gonna just slide in like so and give it a whack. Okay, to get it out, you do the opposite, like so. So if you look inside here, you'll see there's this round ring right here. That's so the porta filter knows where to lock. There we go. Now, in this box, you've got a bunch of important accessories. So uh, in this box, you've got a USB cable. Let me show you where that's going to go. Right here is a USB port. You're gonna plug one in, in, into it right here. You can let it dangle. This little black washer goes on the group head handle, and it's just to make it tidy so that when you screw it in, which is what we'll do next, you don't have any threads visible. So it goes in right there, and we're just gonna tighten this in. Okay, and now you can see from the top, it looks nice and tidy. You also here have a blank porta filter. You don't need that right now. This is used for cleaning. Here are two parts to the stand, okay? There is a magnet right under here, which is why when I put the magnet here, it finds its position. Now that's so that the tablet doesn't move once it's here, but you can lift it off to wipe it clean. What we're gonna do next is mount this stand onto this tablet. This is a guide to help you decide where you want to put this. Now, it's currently cut out so that it's in the center, and if you just do that, you're gonna put it perfectly in the center, right? So that's what that would look like there. But what I've done is I've put this additional rectangle in, so if you'd like to slide it more this way or more that way, and let me show you what that does. You can see the angle here is gonna change. So if I put it way up here, right, then suddenly the tablet is angling way back further up. And that might be good if you're especially tall. Now you want to go in the other direction, like that. 
if you want the tablet to be this way if you're shorter. So the way you put this on is you're gonna peel this wax paper off and then stick it on right there. And then this cable right here is going to plug into the side right here, okay? And at this point, your espresso machine is ready to be used. There's one more thing you need to do, and that's put water into the water tank. You take this, which is the drip tray, you take it off, you lift the lever off, and you pull this forward. Usually you flip that up, and then you take filtered water and put it in here. Now don't put boiling hot water, and if you put ice water in, it won't work well either. So refrigerator water or room temperature water is better. Then slide it back and turn it on. Now you'll also find that when you first turn it on, it's gonna make a lot of noise. And the reason is that the pump is sucking air because we've purged the whole machine beforehand. So don't worry, you'll have about 30 seconds of clank, 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 and then it'll get quiet as water fills in the system. At that point, what you should do is power on the tablet, okay? And once you finish powering on, you'll see a D1 or D1 plus icon. You tap on it and you should be good to go because we've prepared the tablet that ships with your machine with the espresso machine. Uh, at that point, you can go make espresso and I'll make other videos giving you tips on how to do that. But you've got a functioning espresso machine now and I hope it well goes well. If you have any questions, please contact us at Decent Espresso, just decentespresso.com slash contact and we will absolutely help you with any problems. Thanks.